Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the March Connect and one of the other changes that they made. So this has to do with the appearance of witnesses and how the actual treatment services hearing is conducted. So in the past, um, if we had a witness who was out of state and you know you know that we we work with a lot of mums and dads who's uh, who are actually out of state. In fact, we've had a number of international clients. We had one from Italy uh, and Panama, and we actually had another call from Italy just uh, about two or three weeks ago. So uh, people are all over the place. And way back when, um, when I first started doing these this kind of work 10 years ago, if you wanted to present a witness who was out of state, I mean, unless the court was willing to grant permission to let you let you use Zoom, which, I mean, was almost unheard of 10 years ago. I mean, the, the courts didn't even know what Zoom was. I mean, the legal profession is so far behind in technology, it's crazy. But you'd have to get a motion. The other side would have to agree. And if not, you'd have to get your witness to fly in. I mean, I once had a, a mother fly in. She was in the state of Washington. She flew in. When the daughter saw that she was, you know, that she was there and was going to testify against her, she agreed to go to treatment. It was a five-minute hearing, and she flew all the way. Now, obviously, if she hadn't have flown and come into town, then the case would have been lost, and the daughter wouldn't have gone to treatment. But the point is that, you know, it sometimes it's an inconvenience. The new statute really does fix that, and I'm really excited about that. Um, here, this is this, and I'm going to give you the section number so you can read it yourself. This is 397.6957. This is the 2024 version of the March Act. Remember, there were some a lot of changes. It says, and this is what it says. This is in subparagraph 1a. Witnesses may remotely attend and, as appropriate, testify at the hearing under oath via audio, video, telecommunications technology. It's beautiful, right? It means it means if a witness wants to, they can appear via Zoom. Not the lawyers, although I will tell you there are times when I've appeared at hearings via Zoom, but the witnesses. This is fantastic. Okay, I don't have to even file a motion. I can just have the witness log on to Zoom. The judges, the general magistrates, they all have a Zoom link. It's on their website. So you can just, you know, we go, we, we collect it, unless the judge or general magistrate gives us another address. But this is great. This allows us to present witnesses from just about anywhere. And as long as they have a picture ID so that the, 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 the judge can verify who they are and, and swear them in, now they can appear. So this is a great, this is a beautiful thing. Thank you very much, Tallahassee. I'm very happy about this, this change. And it's a game changer for us. So I wanted to share that with you. Good news about the March Act. Finally, take care. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.